My apologies, she says. I nearly forgot that you wanted to puri wanted, uh, want <laughs> wanted to have me purified. Well, here I am. Give it your best shot. With a little luck, after you kill me, you might be able to wake Flower up from a stasis so that she can say her goodbyes. Shut up, Darren says as he readies his sword. Darren, no, Rose shout as Darren sticks his sword into Iluna's right leg. A bright white light surrounds the Banshee for a few seconds, and then a green smoke starts to evaporate out of her, which evaporates into thin hair soon after. You... Iluna says in a state of complete shock. What did you... I broke the curse, Darren says. I'm both a white mage and an enchanter. Remember, it is only natural that my sword can do something as trivial as dispelling an ordinary death curse without requiring me to use magic. This makes us even. You saved my life, I saved yours. Now we can move on with our lives and never speak of these events ever again. Agreed, Iluna says for a while. After a while, and she uses her healing mag magic to patch up her wounds. Luna, thank the gods, uh, Rose says as she comes to give her a big hug. You're uh, going to be okay now, right? There are no other curses? No, Luna says, looking a little flustered. Uh, no other curses, as far as I can tell. There is still the matter of the hordes of... Yeah, yeah, this is the same thing after that. So here's an important choice. Uh, we are supposed to kill the two ogres. So this is after we are exiting the cave after killing the shaman. There are two ogres nearby hiding, which I did not kill in my uh, let's play because I was like, they're out of the way. Why should I even bother dealing with them? But apparently you're supposed to. So go and kill the two ogres. Go and kill them. I think it's better to get rid of them, I say. If we let them live, they'll see which way we went and tell the other ogres when they get out of the mine. Uh, maybe a rider and says one can never be too careful. Let's get this done real quick and then head for our ba backpacks Follow Araka's instructions reach the two ogres in less than a minute and this uh, when they saw wh What when they saw that we discovered them that I don't think that's correct when they see that we have discovered them uh, The ogres dismiss their invincibility spells and try to attack us with their clubs But Iluna's behead Iluna beheaded them both with a single motion of a water whip. Then we all went back and headed towards the place where we buried our backpacks. Once we dig up our belongings, we waste no time and return to our long journey. Yeah, yeah, we are supposed to get back now. So at this point, we are supposed to share a drink with Hardrick, which we did in our let's play as well. So I don't think I should be getting an achievement which, because I probably already got it. But she offered to share a drink with Hardrick before taking the first shift. Yep, I already have done this. That's why I get no achievement. Moving on. So this is Hardrick and us talking apparently and he says but enough about politics he says we should discuss more important matters like for example what's going on between you and Rose is it just me or have you two been getting a little closer in these past two days so we have the option of not at all what makes you say that I guess you could say that I think I probably took uh, I guess you could say that but we are supposed to pick we have been getting closer but not in the way you think I believe that's what I'm supposed to pick we have been getting closer but not in the way you think yep that's what we go for um, oh, I get it. Hardrick says, so I'm guessing that you're not uh, all that interested in Rose then. Could it be that you prefer the wilder types like Kate? Forget Rose and Kate, I say. What I think uh, we all need want to know is what's going on between you and Araka. Have you proposed to her yet? Dwarf laughs. Now you're asking the right questions. Yeah, yeah. I've been meaning to do it, but I just couldn't find the right moment. I'm still thinking of an excuse to give Flower and Luna to lend me the amulet for a while so the two of us can have some quality time alone together. Was then we take another drink. So this is a point where Hardrick asks us what do we want to do after we become a mage. So I probably, I think I remember picking, I haven't really thought about that yet because I was like, I, there's no option of like pursuing magical education or something like that. Because I, I probably wanted to choose that but since that's not an option, I went with I really haven't thought about that yet. But we're supposed to go for that we want to start going on adventures. So I want to start going on adventures. Uh, am I not supposed to get a, a achievement here? Maybe it's not related to this. I want to start going on adventures, Hadrick says. That's the spirit, he says. I'm sure you're going to love the adventuring life. If you're ever out of ideas or just need some information about places to go, hit me up, assuming that we both make it out of here alive, of course. If you're looking for more adventures after finishing the tournament, you could always come back to Varathia here. Rose's voice coming from behind me. I could write a formal invitation for you, which would make it a lot easier for you to return. Hardrick grins as he looks at Rose. So I take it that you finally changed your mind and decided to join us. I've got uh, many more bottles of ale stashed up in my backpack, so there's no need for you to hold back. I think that's the same after that, so I'm not gonna read anymore. So this is a point where we are talking to Darren, and Barry's talking to Darren, and the option is that uh, basically Darren has realized that Kate was not a banshee as he expected her to be but instead is a what is a uh, artificial mage so because of which now uh, Barry is uh, 
you know, discussing with him like uh, he should probably go and talk to her and whatnot. So this is not an important choice. I can just pick whatever I want. So I'm prob I I think maybe I picked up maybe you were subconsciously resenting her for proving you wrong. I probably picked that last time. So let's pick. Maybe you'll feel better if you apologize to her. Uh, maybe you're right, Darren. I most certainly won't be making any progress if I spend all night moking about this. I think this is the same after this. I'm gonna try to make things right. Yeah, we already read the list. They basically go and talk to her and she's like, Oh, you're not going to confess to me, right? I want to kind of see that. Let's see if that's uh, anywhere around here. Uh, the fox isn't surprised. Oh, a touching reunion. Uh, I don't know why I got that achievement now. A few minutes after leaving the ruins, we hear the leopard calling out to us. Wait, he says... Wait, did I forget something? Oh, for fuck's sake, did I... Oh, no, 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 hold on, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, here we are. So, we have arrived at the location of where we meet up with the fox. The fox was quite surprised when she learned that we returned with the chalice. I don't think she was really expecting us to pull it off. However, she kept her word, removed all of our collars. Upon confirmation that the artifact we had bought her was indeed the one she was looking for. Since we didn't really feel like spending any more time than necessary in this place, we waved goodbye to the fox and the leopard. We started heading out of the forbidden forest and we prayed that we'd never see either of them again for the rest of our lives. And this is where the a touching reunion um, achievement comes up which we just saw so let's uh, check out what the reason for that was because that we didn't get this in the last playthrough apparently maybe we, you know yeah achievements don't come up twice I believe a few minutes after leaving the ruins we hear the leopard calling out to us wait he says in common tongue I forgot to ask is one of you named Rose by any chance I am Rose uh, Rose says why do you ask a doe named Alaria have been waiting impatiently for your return the leopard says she seems very worried about you would you like me to transmit a message to her I uh, Rose starts to say then she paused no I'd rather talk to her myself could you please tell her to come here I'll be waiting for her as you wish Leo says and she'll be with you temporarily momentarily we we got this because we have not met with the the, uh, the 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 uh, the fucking deer uh, in um, this one this timeline uh, because we met the deer in this timeline we didn't get it in the last one because we didn't meet her uh, so I finally decide to grab the bull by its horns then I ask Rose after the leopard leaves there's no time like the present don't you think uh, Rose says smiling wait what's this all about Darren asks it's a secret Rose tells him smiling playfully right Darren says after 10 minutes later Lady finally shows up she pauses for a few moments to catch her breath before she begins to speak. Rose, she says in her ancient language. Rose, I was so worried. The animals in the forest kept uh, talking about the group of uh, humans captured by the golden fox. I recognized your description. I rushed to, uh, towards the forbidden forest as fast as I could. I was hoping that I could persuade the fox to let you go. But when I heard she sent you to the ogre fortress, I had almost lost all the hope. All hope. When the doe uh, finishes talking. Is that what a fucking female deer is called? A doe? When the doe um, finishes talking, uh, Rose approaches her and gives her a big hug. Thank you, Alaria, she says. Thank you for always looking out for me. I'm really sorry by for the way I've been acting re lately. I've been actively avoiding you ever since Molan's father died. I was feeling guilty and I just couldn't bear to look, uh, look you in the eyes anymore. But someone made me realize that I was only making things worse by not talking to you. I shouldn't have abandoned you like this. I should have been with you in your time of need. Would you ever forgive me for my selfishness? Of course. Of course, Alaria says as a tear drops from her eyes. Of course, I'll forgive you, Rose. You will always be welcome in our home, no matter what happens. Don't you ever forget that. Promise. Uh, I promise I'll come back to visit you as soon as I've done. I've done helping all the sick people in my hometown. Rose says, and I'll bring with me those blue leaves that Molan likes so much. I'm sure that Molan will be ecstatic when I tell him this. Doe says, smiling, please take care of yourself, Rose. I will, Rose says. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye, Laria, and thank you for everything. Thank you again for everything. She waves goodbye to the Doe, and we all resume our journey while Rose looks as if a great burden has been lifted off her chest. That's cute. Once we put some distance between ourselves and the edge of the Forbidden Forest, I think this might be the same after that. This is a meaningless choice where we are discussing that, uh, you know, why Iluna, Rose is confused, uh, no, Flower is confused why Iluna did not, uh, you know, uh, make the strategy and then changed her mind and helped us out in the Ogre Fort. That was probably because we talked to um, Iluna before the night and we are not going to tell Flower the reason because to spare Iluna the embarrassment. 
Uh, so we're just gonna keep with that one. I'm sure I picked that one in the last one as well. This is not an important choice, doesn't really matter. Keep quiet in order to spare Eluna the embarrassment. After some careful consideration, I decide to keep Eluna's secret and spare the embarrassment. Wait, so you're saying that you're not the one who convinced Eluna to carry out the plan? Terrence uh, asked Flower. No, like I said, she was the one who... Flower star uh, starts to say, but then she gasps loudly. Did... Did he just call Petal by her real name? Uh, Rose, the girl asked, seemingly in a state of shock. Yeah, I guess. Does that mean we're your friends now? No! <laughs> the boat shout. Okay. Oh my god, that's true, Flower says. You really are friends now. Whatever, we are. We have already seen all this. 